intersection of two planes. For the planes 2x minus y plus 2z equals to 0 and 2x plus y plus 6z equals to 4, show that their line of intersection lies on the plane by 1, 5x plus 3y plus 16z minus 11 equals to 0. Now for this kind of a problem, what we should do? We should find first the line of intersection of this plane, correct? So let's do that. Now, uh, so we have equation 1, which is 2x minus y plus 2z equals 0. And the equation number 2 is 2x plus y plus 6z equals to 4, correct? So let us say this is our equation number 1 and this is equation number 2, correct? Now if I do equation number 2 minus 1, let us say if I do 2 minus 1, then what do I get? I get 0 here, right? 2 minus 1. And this minus 1 gives me plus 2y. And here this minus that gives me plus 4z, is that okay? And 4 minus 0 is 4. So this is what is from here. So I got actually two equations and three variables. So I cannot really solve for each without using a parameter, correct? Now from here, what I should do is I can use a parameter. Let z equals to, for example, t. So we'll say let z equals to t. So that is my part of solution, right? If I put z as t, then what is 2y? So that is what I'm going to figure out. So I've got 2y is equals to 4 minus 4t, right? Or y equals to 2 minus 2t. So I got the value of z and the value of y, both in terms of t. Now, to find x, what can I do? Plug in the values of y and z and find x, correct? So that's what we'll do. So to find x, I'm going to use equation number 1. So, so I'll use equation 1. And let me call this as equation 3. And the y value is equation 4. Okay. So I'll substitute 1 with what 3 and 4, right? So, and then calculate for x. So I got 2x minus, instead of y, I'm writing 2 minus 2t. And instead of z, I'm writing t. So I got plus 2t equals to 0. So now I can solve for x in terms of t. That is that is the whole idea. So I got 2x and here I have minus 2 plus 2t two plus 2t two equals to 0, right? And therefore, I can divide everything by 2 and then get x is equals to. So if I... Well, let me let me write 2x. How does it matter? 2x. And this is like 4t will come this side. So it is 4, 4t plus, I should write plus 2 minus 4t. Okay. Or x is equal to 1 minus 2t. Okay. So I got x, y, and z, right? So now my, let me write down my solution very clearly here on the right side. So I have x equals to 1 minus 2t and I have y equals to 2 minus 2t, correct? And I got z equals to t, okay? So that gives me the equation of line. It is in the parametric form. Is that okay? Where we have a point, um, this, and that's the direction vector. To, do you understand? So equation actually in the parametric form can be written, okay? What do we need to do? We have to show that their line of intersection lies on the plane. So this is my line, right, in the parametric form. Now I have to show that this lies on this plane, right? So, so to show that, I need to plug in these points in my equation, correct? Okay? So that is how we can show that this line lies in the plane. So we'll do five times Instead of x, I'll write the x value, which is 1 minus 2t. And then we got plus 3y, so we'll plus 3 times y is 2 minus 2t. Plus 16z plus 16t minus 11 equals to 0. That is my equation. And for that, 
let me see what value of t can satisfy it, right? So let's open the bracket and solve for it. So we've got 5 minus 10t and this is plus 6 minus 6t plus 16t minus 11 equals to 0, right? So we are left with 5 plus 6 is 11 and minus 11 is 0, right? So we got 0 there. And here we got minus 10t minus 16t and plus 16t is 0, right? So we get 0 equals to 0. So since you get 0 equals to 0, that means this equation is always true, right? And that implies that all the points on this line for whatsoever parameter t is lies on the given plane, right? So the intersection of those two planes, 2x minus y plus 2z equals 0, and 2x plus y plus 6 equals to 4, that line, which is the intersection of these two planes, lies on the given plane pi 1. So that is the equation of, of the line. So this is, let me write this here for you, is a parametric equation of line of intersection, right? And once we substitute these values here in plane pi 1, so when we substitute it in plane 1, we found 0 equals to 0, which is always true. And that implies that the intersection, the line of intersection lies on the plane. Correct? Thank you.